Good morning, it is day 21. I've got all my stuff with me and I'm getting in the car to go to work. I've had an eventful day. Well, I guess eventful is the wrong word. I've had a long day. It's like super late now. I don't even know what time it is. It's like 6.45. I wanted to start this hike at like six, but I left my book and my journal at work. So I had to go back there to get it. And that took way longer than just running inside and back out. But now I am at Pine Mountain again because I'm going to hike for my first workout and my outdoor workout. I, like I said, am here way later than I wanted to. The sun is gonna set very soon. I wanted to sit at the summit and read my book and do my journaling, but we'll see because last time I did that this late, I had to sprint down the mountain and I really don't wanna do that again. And I also said last time that I was gonna go to the other parking lot and do one of the other trails here, but I was running late and I knew I didn't have time for that. So just gotta go with what you know sometimes. And I feel like I know this place. I've been here quite a few times now with Paisley and without. There's a dead bug on my Birkenstock. But it's very crowded. There's a lot of cars here and I've seen a lot of people walking but let's go so I don't have to spread down the mountain. I made it to the summit. I'm working on my reading and drinking my water. The sun is quickly setting, so I'm trying to hurry so I can get out of here before it's like pitch black again. I did mean to say this earlier. At work, I had a protein shake, and then after I kind of came home and dilly-dallied a bit and just like chilled, I had a pork chop there. So that's what kind of was taking me so long because I didn't want to be doing this. Like the sun, it's almost gone, and I'm still at the tippy top of the mountain, so. I have to read two more pages though, so we're almost done with that. I just finished my hike. I'm glistening like a little donut. It gets so hot so fast. This shirt is like an incubator. I'm dripping, but it was a very good hike. Oh my God, I'm stuck. Oh my God. Jeez. It was a very nice hike. I love the view from the top. I'm glad I got to do my reading up there. I brought these four Slim Jims because this is one serving apparently. But I forgot that I had them, so I didn't eat them up there. I'm not eating now. Um, chug some water, cool off, go home. I got home from the hike a little while ago and I just need to do like a mental recap for myself. I've been moving pretty slow today and like not really like focusing on what I need to be focusing on. So, did my outdoor exercise, one of them. I need to do my 45 minute one, done my reading, haven't done any of my journaling. I've had three full hydro flasks. I'm on my fourth. I did take a progress picture and then I had a burger after the hike a little bit ago. I'm only at 69 grams of protein. I haven't done that well today. So I might have like a protein bar or something before I go do my other workout. But I need to do my journaling now, like the first part of it at least. I'm back at my neighborhood gym. I've been on my feet all day, so I just wanted to like sit down and ride the bike again. I thought about doing yoga or something, but yoga is like low key hard, so. I didn't really feel like doing that either because that's pretty strenuous. I just want to like sit down, pedal my little feet, and watch some Netflix, TBH. I finished riding the bike. I'm so tired. I just want to go to bed, but I need to eat more protein. <sighs> Always need to eat more protein. So I'm having another burger patty, and then I also am making some chickpea pasta. And then I'm going to sleep. Well, I have to do my journaling. And then I'm going to sleep.
granola gets stuck together. <laughs> Just trying to shake it, you know, get it separated. And I uh, shook it a little too hard. <laughs> it went everywhere. No. It is 12.20, I finally made it to the gym. My breakfast did end up being 24 grams of protein today instead of the usual 15 or 16 that it is because I was trying to use the rest of the yogurt and it ended up being like 80 extra grams of yogurt, which clearly was like almost nine extra grams of protein. That's kind of crazy, but I'm trying to chug my pre-workout so I can go inside. And hit some legs leg day leg day i do have another new pair of workout shorts on so it's gonna be a good leg day simply because i've got new workout clothes duh <sighs> usually a leg day has me slightly dying i will say that i'm always kind of dying on leg day i hate leg day even with new workout shorts but when i say i was like ready to run to the bathroom and vomit doing leg curls today like out of nowhere i finished a set i got up and i was like oh my god i think i'm gonna puke but then i never do because this happens this happens so i hate leg day because like halfway through my workout i'm like i'm gonna vomit i'm gonna pass out i'm gonna die something is not going to end well and then i always end up being fine <laughs> obviously and walking out of the gym on two feet and alive uh but dang, that shit takes it out of me. I'm home from the gym. I made my protein shake. I kind of need to game plan my day because I have today off of work and usually I have Monday, Tuesday, but this week I don't. Okay, yeah, I was right. I have Monday, Thursday off this week, which is so weird. I don't know why. But not having two days off in a row is kind of throwing me off a little bit because I have made an absolute disaster of my room and my sister's room. This is my sister's room. Like, need to fold these clothes. These are my drawers, like, over here that need to, like, not be in here because she is coming home this weekend. So this is, like, my priority right now. Even though my room is also a disaster and my car is a disaster, like, I've been focusing so much on 75 hard and work obviously that I everything else is being neglected which you know that's not good like 75 hard shouldn't be doing that like that's not like good for your life I decided to go on another hike so I'm at Suwannee Mountain Indian Siege Trail I've also done this one a bunch of times it's slightly further than Pine Mountain so that's why I don't come here as often and I can't bring Paisley here, so if I ever want to bring her, it's off limits. But I'm probably gonna be pretty hungry before I get home because I haven't eaten anything since my protein shake because my breakfast and my protein shake put me at 70 grams of protein. So I wasn't super pressed to eat anything before I left. I did grab a protein bar that's been in my car and like put it in my bag in case I want that. But I'm kind of racing the sunset to the summit again because typically I got here much later than I wanted to. It took me a little longer to do like my laundry and like folding the clothes that were already clean. So it's like 6.45 and the sun's been setting at like 7.20, 7.30. So hopefully I'll get there in time. I should have plenty of time theoretically. It's a much shorter hike than the trails at Pine Mountain. The whole thing should only take me like 45 minutes and I would like to do my reading up there but if it's gonna be dark then I might come down but I probably won't because it would only take me like 18 minutes to get down probably we made it to the summit it only took me like less than 20 minutes I was so thirsty on the way up but look how pretty the sky is pitch black coming down and it was terrifying for a second but then there was like a whole line of people with their flashlights towards the end so it was fine good hike i drank three hydro flasks and i did end up eating a protein bar while i was up there so 
I only have like 15 more grams of protein-ish that I need to eat. I might stop on the way home and get like Chick-fil-A or something. That could be good. I stopped and got some Chick-fil-A since I'm almost at my protein bowl today. And chicken sandwiches from Chick-fil-A are healthy, right? day 22 I think maybe day 23 but I'm running a little bit behind so I'm just going to have some sausages for breakfast since it will be a little quicker I've not been doing very good of updating at night I have been finishing everything I've been doing my journaling and I've been doing my reading earlier in the day but I just keep forgetting to update at night and I'm not doing very well with like sticking to a routine and getting everything for 75 hard done first especially yesterday I think when I have a day off I want to be able to like do other things so I kind of focused too much on that stuff and like got in a bad routine with 75 hard and then today I also slept in it's like 11 or 12 already yeah it's already 12 and I'm like just now having breakfast so I need to make it a point to like be on top of things, do things in a schedule, figure out my day, like wake up on time because I've been like sleeping in. Obviously, I'm not gonna have time to do both 45 minute workouts before work. All I'll have time for is the work I'm about to do and the protein shake. So then that just, you know, puts me behind until 9 or 10 p.m. tonight, which is not what I want to do, but that's kind of what's happening right now. It's 12.30, I just got to the gym chest and try day need to get a move on because I got work at three that was a wonderful workout started off feeling a little weak not sure what was going on there but ended up feeling super strong by the end of it so no complaints for me now we just gotta go home make our protein shake get ready for work wash our face shower you know the whole shebang get a move on I just got to work I have my protein shake with me and I also brought my book and journal again because it's Tuesday night and I have a feeling it's not gonna be busy one of the chefs made me like a crunch wrap supreme at work. I ate half of it there and then I didn't have time to finish it. And you know what they say, it wouldn't be dinner without you. Yep, you. I finished eating most of my crunch wrap and now I'm on a walk. I was planning all day to like sit down and ride the bike, but I forgot I had to do an outside exercise. So I decided to do the walk like around where my work is, like at a tavern. But at this current moment, I'm like cutting through like the tennis courts and stuff because it's way better lit here than like over there, clearly. And then I'll come back out on the main road where it's still lit because I'm 31 minutes in and this is like a much shorter loop obviously so hopefully I won't get too bored but I've already done like four of the big loops so now I probably just need to do like four of the small loops which is kind of a lot 45 minutes is such a long time when I'm doing shit like this I needed like 30 more grams of protein so I ate a bowl of yogurt with some granola and some of that protein Oreo pudding that my mom made and that put me at over 100 grams for the day. So that was very good. And now all I have to do is my journaling. I'm very glad that I brought my book to work because I had more than enough time to read all 10 pages and I actually ended up finishing it. I didn't realize I was that close to being done. So I need to hopefully go to Barnes and Noble tomorrow. I wrote a whole list of I'm gonna stick to nonfiction. I've actually been liking it. I wasn't gonna make that one of my rules, but for now I will. Good morning, happy day 24. 
We just got to the gym. It's like 10 a.m., so much earlier than usual. I have to work 12 to 7 today, which is such a weird shift, but honestly, don't mind that all because I have time to go to the gym before and then I still have time to do my outside workout before it gets like pitch black. So that's nice. I had some sausages and a little bowl of yogurt with granola for breakfast. And now it's time to hit some back and buy. Okay, the gym was good, except I didn't get to finish the last set of my last exercise because I was running super late and now I am super late to work. But I made my protein shake as fast as I could and changed, got my water. I've also got my journal. I finished my book yesterday, so I can't um, do that. But everything else I can chip away at. Loki forgot about this. Well, not really. I was just at work until 10 instead of until 7 like I was scheduled. So that kind of threw a wrench into my plans. But I brought food home from work and brought it into the kitchen. And then my mom came out and I was like eating it and I like forgot. So now I'm in my room. I've just started reading. I'm reading this book called Blitz. It's the only nonfiction book I could find. So I'm two pages in. It seems like it might be interesting. It's like history, so we're going the complete opposite route from like the self-help defining decade that I was reading. I decided to go on a walk at the tavern again. I'm about halfway through right now and it's like 12.30 a.m. Clearly, it's pitch black. And I'm doing like the parking lot, whatever, but I'm not on the main road as much. I'm kind of doing like figure eights. The weather's pretty nice, and my sister put me on to the J Train podcast when I was in Clearwater with her. She had it playing in the car, and then I texted, and I was like, what are some podcast recommendations? And that was the one she said. I was like, fuck yeah, we are on the same wavelength right now, and I've been hooked ever since. It has been made, it's made walking very enjoyable. He is hilarious. Good morning. It is day 25, one third of the way through, which is very exciting. What is not exciting is the fact that I was supposed to have today off and I woke up to a text from my boss asking me if I could work from 10 to three because we're down two servers, yada, yada, yada. Ah! So I literally just now texted him back and I said, I'll come help with the rush. I'll be there at 11, but like whatever, I was going to the gym first. So I'm at the gym now. Also thought it was Friday for some reason. So was like fully prepared to like do my upper body day. I was like, woo, yeah, upper body, love it. And then got in the car and realized it's leg day. And my skin is another story. So today's day off is just not going to plan but we're gonna make the most of it i need to finish my pre-workout decent workout i want to die i'm home from the gym i just washed my face and now i have to get ready to go to work for a few hours i told them what would help during the rush and then i'm leaving because sometimes i get really frustrated i don't want to say i feel taken advantage of but i work five or six days a week already and I really, really needed this day off, but it's almost like you get punished for being a good employee because I'm the one they always call because they know that I'll say yes and come in and not have a bad attitude about it. So that can be irritating because outside of 75 Hard, I have so many things I need to do, like shave my legs, wash my hair, you know, clean my room, my sister's room, my car, my bathroom, like everything else is being neglected because all I do is work and do 75 hard. And it's just frustrating. It's a lot, it is a lot. Like to be going nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. And I stayed up late last night, like doing stuff. Like I didn't get done with my walk until 1 a.m. And I did that because I was like, oh, I have the whole day off tomorrow, I can sleep in. And then when my body naturally woke up at 8.30 and saw a text from my boss, it was like, oh, get up, get going, like, you have to work now. I just want to, like, lay in bed and do nothing. 
and I just feel like I can't. I like take a nap. What a luxury that would be. Protein shake, water, going to work. I just got off work. It's not quite three o'clock yet, but really I just need to evaluate what I'm doing with my day and figure that out. I know I need to eat. I think that's step one. I got home from work. I said hi to the dog. I changed my clothes. I went pee like literally three times. And now I'm in the kitchen because I need to figure out something to eat. I've already had 51 grams of protein for the day. And I've had two waters. And I've done one workout. So that's where we're at. I haven't done any of my journaling or reading yet. Because I went to the gym and then went straight to work. But we're focused on food right now. So I think I'm going to start with the Bonza chickpea pasta. Because that ish is good. And there's like a lot of protein in it compared to like normal pasta. I need to figure out what shape I want. We have rigatoni or penne. But maybe the shape will depend on what I'm going to put in it. I know there's shredded chicken in the fridge, and I know we have frozen shrimp, but I don't know what's on the chicken. I don't know if my mom was planning on using this for something, but let's see. So my idea was chickpea pasta, shredded chicken, marinara sauce, because I just wanted to switch up the like pasta and shrimp. Like, is this just plain chicken? Whatever, I'm sure it'll be good. Some cold chicken is never good. All right. Fun fact, my brother's in Oregon and he said he saw the, Mount, the Morton salt factory and there was like mounds of salt, which Interesting. That is tasty. That was a pretty good meal. I can't complain really at all it was protein and it was tasty so that's all we're looking for now i'm going to do my first part of my journaling for the day day 25 only 50 more to go so that's very exciting let me put a couple exclamation points after day 25 <laughs> just so i know it's a special day i think after this i'm gonna like pause and fold my laundry and do some like day off of work type things that I've been wanting to do because like I've said I need to fold my laundry so I can put it away and like clean my sister's room for her because she's coming home tomorrow. I was folding and organizing my life away for like four hours and then I realized it was getting dark and I needed to do my outdoor workout. And I was on the way, well, not really on the way. I just got into the front of my neighborhood, but I was about to turn left to go on the way to Rope Mill. And then I remembered there's this walking path at Hobgood. So I decided to come here and there's like baseball games going on and a ton of other people on the path. So I feel way less like I'm gonna get kidnapped or killed. <laughs> so that's good. I'm 26 minutes or 27 now. Did I already say that? Mm -hmm. 